Tommy has a great opinion of your husband, my dear. At least I think he has. Your husband is very clever, isn't he? Yes, I think so. So is mine. I'm not sure that I like it. Shall I hurry them up? They'll be kicking the good old days around all night if somebody doesn't ring a bell. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I do so dread it when he has to take a murder trial. He comes home looking so... Yes, I can well imagine. There must be a terrible nervous strain trying a capital charge. Yes, that's it. That's very comforting. They were retrying Charles I and Tony got him off. It's been such a long time. I've been chattering and chattering. Uh, my dear, I'm sure that Keenan Simmy would like to see your jade. Would they? I have some such pretty pieces. Very much indeed. You look very, very appetizing tonight, my dear. A charming compliment from such a gourmet as yourself, Lord Horfield. Uh, tell me, um, Mrs. Keene, I don't amuse you very much, do I? No, oh, no, I, I've always admired your wit, Lord Horfield. Then you may call upon my wit whenever you wish. Life can be very boring for grass widows. And what makes you think I'm a grass widow? Well, don't let's be pedantic. Uh, golf widows, stock exchange widows, and law court widows, that's the same thing. It's a charming uh, ruby. Uh, tell me, did your husband uh, earn all that whacking away at juries? Lady Horfield was admiring it too. It pleased me so much because she had such excellent taste in most things. Say, Keen. Major wife is wearying of me. Pity, pity. <laughs> 